Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on getting started with the Syncfusion Flutter financial charts. In this video, you will see how to add the Syncfusion Flutter charts package to a Flutter project and add the Cartesian chart widget to it. You will learn how to set a data source to the chart and how to add a candle series to it. Then I will explain how to customize the primary axis, enable trackball, show legends, and add a title in the candle series chart. Finally, I will show you how the open high low close series can be created using the same data. First, open the VS Code editor. You can also use an IDE you prefer such as Android Studio or IntelliJ. This computer was already set up with the Flutter development environment, so I can directly create a new Flutter project. Open the command palette and create a new Flutter project. Choose a folder to create the project in. Name the project My Flutter App. VS Code creates the Flutter project for you. First, run this application. Choose the Android simulator. You can also use the terminal to run the project. You can see the application with a button widget at the bottom and a text widget at the center. When you click the button, the click count is updated in the text widget. Now, let me show you how to add a candle chart in this app in place of the text and button widgets. To do so, first, I need to import the Syncfusion Flutter Charts package from the pub.dev website. So, open the pub spec YAML file and declare the dependency Syncfusion underscore Flutter underscore charts using the latest version. When you save the file, VS Code runs the command Flutter pub git to download the package. The download is completed now. Next, open the main.dart file. Import the charts.dart library so that you can use the chart widget in this file. Let's write the candle chart related code within the My Homepage State class. Remove the code in the My Homepage State class for better clarity. Override the build method and within the build method, return a safe area widget to render the chart within the usable area. To its child, set a scaffold widget so that you can set the material design to your application. To the scaffold's body, set the SF Cartesian chart widget so that you can add the candle series to it. Save the file. The hot reload feature loads the application in the Android emulator. You can see the Syncfusion Flutter chart rendered with default X and Y axis in my application. Now, let me show you how to create a candle chart for a sample financial data. Create a class named Chart Sample Data. Create a field of type nullable date time and name it as X and create a nullable number field to store open values. Do the same for close, low, and high. Create a constructor for this class that receives the parameters X, open, close, low, and high. Next, I need to create a chart data source and bind it to the chart. To do so, create a method that returns a list of chart sample data, get chart data. Within it, return a collection of chart sample data. Here I have set date wise stock data in US dollars. To set this data to the chart, in the My Homepage State class, declare a field of type list of chart sample data. To initialize the chart data field, override the init state method. Within it, initialize the chart data by calling the method getChartData, which will return the financial data collection. Now, in the SF Cartesian chart widget, set the series with a candle series collection and set the candle series by passing the types as chart sample data and date time. Set its data source property with the chart data object that we just created. Next, you need to map the data for the X value and low, high, open, and close values. So, use the X value mapper property and set the X field. This will plot all the date values on the X axis in the chart. In the same way, use the low value mapper property and set the low field. Do the same for high, open, and close too. Since the primary X axis value contains category values, which are the date time values, you need to set the primary X axis as a date time axis so that the Cartesian chart can understand its X axis type. Now, everything is set. Save the file to see the changes in the chart. You can see the candle chart in the application. The X axis holds the date values, and the Y axis holds the US dollar values. You can notice here that the values in Y axis are plotted from zero, hence the chart series is plotted at top area of the chart. I can change it by customizing the Y axis settings. To do so, add the primary Y axis property and set the numeric axis class by passing the minimum property with value 70. Set the maximum value, interval, 
Also I use the number format property to format the labels as currency values, since the values are in US dollars. To access the number format class, import the package intel.dart. In the primary y-axis property, set the number format property with the number format class's simple currency constructor. Set the decimal digits as zero, so that no decimal points will be displayed in the axis. Now, save the file, and you can see the axis values are formatted as currency values, which use the US dollar format by default. You can see the minimum value starts from 70, maximum value as 130, and with the interval 10 as we provided. You can customize the x-axis too. Let me change the date format in the x-axis. In the primary x-axis property, set the date format property with date format class MMM constructor. Save the file, you can see the x-axis labels were customized to month values with three letters as provided. Let me remove the x-axis major grid lines. Add the major grid lines property and set the major grid lines class by passing the width property with value zero. Save the file and you can see the x-axis major grid lines were removed from the chart. Let me show you how to enable trackball in the candle series. First, I need to create a trackball behavior object and assign it to the chart. So, in the my homepage state class, declare a field of type trackball behavior and in the init state method, initialize the trackball behavior object with the trackball behavior class and set the enable property to true. Set the activation mode to single tap so that the trackball will be displayed when you tap on any data point. Also, you can set the value to double tap, long press and none based on your requirements. Now, in the SF Cartesian chart widget, add the trackball behavior property and set the trackball behavior field. This enables trackball in the chart widget. Now, restart the application. Tap on a data point to see the trackball. Next, let me show you how to add a title to the chart. In the SF Cartesian chart widget, add the title property, set the chart title widget, and set its text property with a title. You can also add alignment, background color, border color, and text style. Save the file to see the changes. The provided title is now shown in the chart widget. You can also show legends in the chart by adding the legend property in the chart with the legend class and setting the is visible property to true. Save the file and you will be able to see the legend at the bottom of the chart. You can see the name is series 0 since this is the first item in the chart series collection. You can change the series name by setting the name property in the candle series class. After setting the name property, save the file and you can see the series name changes to AAPL. Finally, let me show you how the same data looks when I use the high low open close series. Change the candle series to the high low open close series. All the properties are supported by the high low open close series too. Save the file to see the changes. You can see the high low open close series in the chart. That's it. Let me summarize the main points of this video. You saw how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter Charts widget to a Flutter project. You learned how to set a data source to the chart and then plot the data as a candle series. You also learned how to customize the primary axis, enable trackball, show legends, and add a title in the candle series chart. Finally, you learned how to create an open high low close series using the same data. You can download this working example from the GitHub link and the documentation link in the video description below. You can also check if you are eligible for our community license which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.